Bloomington Banquet is the uh, the art centerpiece for the 3.1 mile linear park that is the Beeline Trail, something that visitors and residents alike will uh, look at and convene around for years. Now we normally like to keep uh, announcements like this quiet so we can unveil new works with an element of surprise, but it was a bit tough to keep the Bloomington Banquet under wraps. Uh, it's hard to miss. It's hard to miss, but there is much more than meets the eye. Uh, it is, of course, and it has already been referred to very generically as the big table and chairs. Um, but it's already becoming iconic of what I want the Beeline to be for Bloomington. It's a community gathering space, it's a celebration of our community character, and it's yet another symbol of what sets us apart from being everywhere else. Uh, Bloomington's strength, emotionally, philosophically, economically, is our uniqueness. We come around the table to debate, to disagree, and to discuss the issues, uh, our lives, and, and ourselves. Uh, it's always dangerous to interpret an artist's intent, but for me, that strength of gathering as a community, just like the limestone base here, is the foundation of Bloomington, Indiana. And it's more than meets the eye, because we have yet to fully appreciate the different ways in which we will view the piece. I will always view it with a memory of the helmets and the centerpiece on our, our guest today. Um, I think we're going to fully appreciate it in different ways uh, every time we come down here to see it. The sun will hit it differently throughout the year. The farmer's market, Taste of Bloomington, and the community traditions that have yet to even be imagined will evolve in its shadow. Personally, I very much look forward to Bloomington Banquet's first snowfall. I think all of us will develop uh, our own favorite Bloomington Banquet moment. This substantial work, crafted from local limestone, is great art to be enjoyed by all in the Bloomington Commons. It anchors the place where people will continue to gather to attend forums in City Hall, commune with neighbors, and buy locally grown food at the farmer's market, exercise, and relax along the Beeline Trail. During the ribbon cutting ceremony for the launch of the Beeline, I referred to this undeveloped corridor as a blank canvas, where we would soon enjoy the brush strokes of public art, new commerce, and gatherings of people. Today, with the dedication of Bloomington Banquet, we celebrate the beginnings of the colors, textures, and the substance that is yet to come in this remarkable Bloomington Commons. What draws us out of our isolation and away from our healthy individualism brings us together in the spirit of community. Enjoying public art in the commons, we share all that we have in common as caring friends, good neighbors, and human beings. In Bloomington, we value and invest in the arts. Dale Enix received his Master's of Fine Arts from Indiana University. He has been a teacher of sculpture for 20 years. He has received numerous awards during his career, including an IAC, Individual Artist Fellowship. Dale has work in collections spanning the globe and is proudly exhibited at the new Indianapolis Airport, at the Indiana, Indiana Museum of Art, at the Indiana Governor's Mansion, Wabash College, Ball State University, White River Gardens, and the University of Notre Dame. Please join me in welcoming Dale Enix. Here at the site of the former furniture factory, I've been thinking about just how one goes about making a 75,000 pound sculpture of a uh, table and chairs. And I can say from experience that the artiste in the atelier does not do this in solitude. There are a lot of people involved in this. Helping put it all together, a dear friend who has worked with me for many years, Jason Lindsay, help put it together and he's also known as J1 as well as helping fabricate carve and put it together too Jason Board known as J2 and finally our in-house metal magician Braes who did wonders in making oversized tableware and what I like to call cosmic steam the Indiana limestone company cut and donated all 75,000 pounds 
of this assembled stone here. Tom Farrell and George James made it happen, but so did their employees. I am very grateful to all the people at Indiana Limestone for their help. Now this next reference is to the fish heads back here. And I'm, I would like to say that the rendition of a contemporary version of the courthouse fish would not have happened without Hoffman Design Works. Drew Hoffman, who has the biggest fish back there, <laughs> uh, generously donated the materials and the expertise of his unique and incredible crew to turn what was on paper into a sky-swimming reality. And I'm really grateful to those guys as well. The folks at Indiana Oxygen donated welding supplies so that we could fabricate knives and forks and cosmic steam. And Dave Willoughby, who was here, and crew of Bloomington Powder Coating painted the same knives and forks. Ted Bankert and his crew at Stonebelt Freight Lines delivered all 75,000 pounds of material. And Dave Devitt of Bloomington Crane lifted the pieces in place. Without these community donations, the table and chairs would have been considerably smaller, probably a standard table and chairs without the impact. So I have mentioned a few individuals by name, and there are quite a few more people that I have not mentioned, but the common theme here is that all of these people, named or not, are part of our community. The reality is that it takes a community of like-minded people, such as you, to create a 75,000 pound table and chairs. It is my hope in some small way that this sculpture may speak to others about our community and the nourishment and sustenance that is offered here in Bloomington. I'm very grateful to each and every one of you that make this community what it is. Thank you. The fish head surprised me more than I can explain. And actually, I am so honored and flattered by these guys putting, going to the trouble to put this together for the fun of it, just for the joy of it. I, I can't say enough wonderful things about Drew Hoffman and his entire crew who I've been working with for three, four, five years now on other projects as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're just, they're a treat. Well, we used the same process to make the fish head as we did Dale's fish, or at least cut out the components for it. And uh, Dale's been talking since we started the project about animating one of his projects with gears and motors and so forth. So we thought we'd surprise him at the dedication here. It's official. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> It's art. This is a treat. So, Wayne, how much twirling fish can we do? <laughs> Mayor, Mayor, do we have enough for every council member uh, these helmets? Uh, I, we, you know, we're putting our order in now. I think this would really this, help the this, deliberations. I this would be a good smart. look for those who maybe tire of the debate and just want some other source of entertainment. You know, we think of this as a trail, and obviously we call it the Beeline Trail, but it really is a linear park. And this is a community gathering spot is what we're seeing today with this event. And just every night when you come out here to see people getting together and more and more events will be held out here. This happens in Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, you know, that's why I live here. It's just, it's a cultural oasis. And so I'm really fortunate to be part of it.